Nice man, Liddell. Looking good. Chest out, chin up. The way it should be. And what about me? Ah. Ah. Help me. Help me. Shut your mouth, little roadblock. Uh, my back. My neck and my back. Snake eyes. Looking good. Better than the preview for your movie. Flint. Gotta love a man that got a scar. Eden. Oh, not bad. Not bad. But please, get off the ice. I've told you this before. Crack is whack. What's that smell? It's putrid. Oh, you talking about me? Ugh, is that you, you puke? Actually, it is. It's 90 degrees here in Chicago, and old beachhead is old natural. Listen up, you maggot. You're going to report to the shower ASAP. <sighs> yes, sir. That's more like it. Oh, looking good, soldier. You no longer look like dude who does not look like Lady J. It's amazing what a little helmet can do for appearances of a soldier. <sighs> what? Uh, hey, pal. Did you say a uh, helmet? <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> ah! Welcome back, True Believers Elite Legend, back at you guys with another G.I. Joe Classified Series video. And today, the Elite Legend is going to be talking about something that I'm excited about. Now, I know for a while you guys have been hearing me talk about, uh, more hearing me rant about the good folks at Big Bad Toy Store, and those bros clearly do not ship. However, once one of my viewers... <laughs> was able to let the Elite Legend know that the Big Bad Toy Store is located in Wisconsin, not far from the Elite Legend. He was like, Elite Legend, you should make a trip up to Big Bad Toy Store and tell them what it is. That same day, I got a shipping notification, and they actually had FedExed me this package that you see dropping right now. Whoa! That's crazy. That only happens on Elite Legend Toys and Collectibles. So, I got a box from Big Bad Toy Store, and they're trying to prove the Elite Legend wrong. They're trying to prove to the Elite Legend that these bros do, in fact, ship. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and see what's inside of this box. You know the Elite Legend isn't allowed around sharp objects, so for this particular unboxing, I'm going to use this tech suit ninja, this core ninja, from Hasbro. And if you haven't already done so, check out my review on this guy and this guy in my G.I. Joe Classified series playlist. So without further ado, I'm going to need the help of this Snake Eyes to free this Joe from the package. Yeah! Whoa! Thanks, Snake Eyes! Now get back in the trash. Let's open this flap up. Whoa! It's Dave! Dave, what are you doing in there? Uh... Uh, hello, Elite Legend. I have a public service announcement for you. Stop purchasing action figure! Dave, this is a pre-order. I do not care! Dave, do you understand how pre-orders work? I didn't order this recently. I ordered this a long time ago, and it just finally came. Elite Legend, I do not care about the pre-orders and the coming. You have to stop purchasing action figure! Dave, do you know what you just said? I have no time for this. All right, so there is only one figure in the box. There are three redecos. I got one of them, Scarlet. You saw her in the beginning of the video. This is either the Roadblock or Duke. And you've seen in my previous videos, Elite Legend thought he was getting the redecos. And Amazon played me for a fool. Let's see if Elite Legend is actually receiving an actual redeco. From the good folks at Big Bad Toy Store. Who are trying to prove to the Elite Legend that those bros do ship. So let's go ahead and turn this around. Let's get a drum roll going. 
And we are going to turn it on its side. And we have do. Excellent. And it is actually the Redeco. So Elite Legend is very excited not to have the ridiculous looking gold accented G.I. Joe classified series Duke. So here we see him. It's still not his classic attire. And Elite Legend has a feeling that we're going to be getting a field variant version of the Duke figure um, to match the Milky Way that was an Amazon and Hasbro Pulse exclusive. So here's a field tip from the Elite Legend. If you go on Amazon Prime and you go into their search engine and you type in the words white chocolate, you're going to see the field variant of Duke. You heard that from the Elite Legend. Now it's moments like these where I wish I had the original version so I could compare the two. But that original version was trash and the Elite Legend returned it just as soon as I purchased it. I had it. I didn't unbox it. It sat on my shelf for a few weeks and I looked at it, and I was like, man, I'm not feeling this. I don't think I'm going to be into these Joes. And then when I saw that they were um, releasing the Regal variant Cobra Commander, I'm like, all right, I got to get back into the Joes. So let's go ahead and bust this bad boy open. And I think I'm going to need um, Snake Eyes again. What the hell was that? That was weird. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to reach back into the dumpster and we're going to get good old Snake Eyes. And we're going to get our money's worth from this <laughs> action figure. So Snake Eyes, you know what to do. So Elite Legend likes to go in from the bottom. And let's see. Snake Eyes in action. <laughs> Snake Eyes once again comes through in the clutch. We have these instructions. And you got to tear those up right away. And then you just slide the tray right out like that, like a champ. Elite Legend is showing you how to unbox a figure like a pro. So, this is my only new addition to my G.I. Joe Classified Series collection in the month of June. You know, Yojo June is going on right now, and it basically has been no Joe June. Every single other toy company under the Hasbro umbrella has released more figures or announced more figures than the G.I. Joe line. But that's neither here nor there. We're not talking about Yojo June. It's time for those sweet sounds of release. White chocolate. First things first, we have the backpack, a canteen, a play gat, and probably the most realistic looking gun in G.I. Joe classified so far. What's that smell? Dookie. No! All right, folks, so now we have Dookie, but I can assure you that this figure is not Kaka. I love it. It's, again, not classic, but it is closer to classic than the shitstorm that we received previously. So there you see he has his nice little straps. These are actually not removable i thought they were but they are not removable he has this little holster that can slide up and down he has knee pads the joe characters they all have knee pads and i don't know what they're doing over at gi joe headquarters but even the cobra characters have all those knee pads too you turn them around you see the incredible amount of sculpting this is the kind of sculpt work that you have come to know um, and expect from the G.I. Joe Classified series. You see the articulation. His arm will rotate. It'll go up that high. He has the bicep swivel. He has the beautiful double jointed elbow. He has a rotation at the wrist. Um, he even has a hinge. Something that uh, the Chuck Liddell Gung Ho lacks. Uh, there you see he has rotation at the waist. He has... A, a, a diaphragm there actually no it's not a diaphragm it is a ab crunch and you can see how he can actually rotate around so this is what you would normally have in a diaphragm um, articulated figure um, his neck is an individual piece and there you see it gets really loosey-goosey it goes back and forth like a wrecking ball he does a Jean-Claude Van Duke very nicely his hips drop down and he could take it down to the flow. He has a rotation at the thigh. He has, um, I wonder what's inside of that sack. I'd love to find out. Robin? 
What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Whoa, that was a flashback. Robin back on the elite zone? That's weird. So we were talking about what since the sack Robin came out. Let's take a look at those double jointed knees. And they're very tight. Just the way the Elite Legend likes them. And that's really stuck. Elite Legend isn't going to break this figure on camera. And that wouldn't be the first time he's done it. He has a boot rotation. He has this shitty ass. I cannot stand this. This sucks. I don't like this shin guard at all. Even though it is redeckled and it is not gold. I just don't like it. It looks stupid. Um, you have his <laughs> ankle rocker. And he has the hinge. But the hinge is going to be... Is it hindered? Let's see. I don't know this. Oh, shit. I think this figure is broken. No, it's not broken, but you can see some severe stretch marks in there. Or stress marks. That sucks. I wonder if Big Bad Toy Store will send me a replacement. If I am not already on their blacklist. So, uh, very disappointed in that ankle. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Hopefully, we get the field variant. Yeah, so a little disappointed there. But the articulation, with the exception of the left boot, um, is very nice. I shouldn't have started talking crap about this stupid shin guard. Uh, can we take that off? Oh, no. If you take it off, there's going to be a big old gap there. Uh, that's horrible. So let's go ahead and see how Dookie looks with his accessories. So you take this backpack and you snap it right in there. Boom. Wait, does it go like that? It would have been nice if you had a hole in here, but I guess that's okay. You could just do this. There you go. You want to take the gun and you want to holster it just like that. So now he has a very nice looking Nerf gun at his hip. I don't know where this goes. Oh, that's where it goes. You attach this little canteen or whatever type of device to his little belt there. And boom. he He's all lubed up and ready for cover girl. So now he has his gun. And this is, like I said earlier, this is an improvement over what whatever the hell this is that came with Storm Shadow. I mean... And now I mentioned this gun earlier and how it's the most realistic looking gun so far for G.I. Joe Classifieds. Um, here is Snake Eyes' gun, and this is just stupid. So this really blows this one away. Whoa! It literally blew it away. That's crazy. So let's go ahead. You want to see Duke? You just want to slide it in right there. Have him finger that hole right there. And there you go. He is ready for action. Look at this. This is impressive. Grip that little handle there, and you are ready to go. Man. Yo, Joe! How cool is that? So here we see Duke all geared up, and this is an impressive-looking figure. It's not my favorite G.I. Joe Classified Series Joe. Um, that distinction goes to the gentleman that we are going to take a look at in just a moment. My favorite G.I. Joe Classified Series figure is none other than Flint, even though he has that really crappy um, skin tone painted onto his, what should be his pectoral region, peeking out of his collared shirt. And even though he has horrible body armor, I still love this Flint figure. And my second favorite Classified Series Joe is none other than Beachhead. So Duke is probably going to be in third place. When it comes to my favorite Joes in the classified line. And what's that smell? Beachhead, didn't the Sarge tell you to shower? Well, I did. Oh, come on, soldier. Tell me you didn't put on the same clothes. Whoa. It looks like the smell was too much for Duke to take. Or it was his really crappy ass broken leg. So there you see Duke alongside all of the other Joes. And it looks like they put poor old Beachhead in timeout. They tossed the brother in the trash. And it's probably because that's how he smells. I don't know. The poor guy needs to work on his hygiene. And you, Elite Legend, need to stop purchasing action figure. Well, thanks for the terrible advice, Dave. So there you have it, folks. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this redeco Duke. Do you have him? Do you want him? 
Did you do like the Elite Legend and cancel the roadblock as soon as you saw the beautiful, classic Deco roadblock that's going to be a shared exclusive with Amazon Prime and Hasbro Pulse? If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to all of Elite Legends' next videos. I drop content daily, so you don't want to miss that. Check out my G.I. Joe Classified Series playlist. And until next time, make mine.